All right. Hey guys, me and my good buddy Jose, best helper I've ever had. Number one amigo right here. Say hi, Jose. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> so, I'm about to demonstrate how to use a beveling machine like an Olympic welder, fast and efficient. We're not gonna waste time preheating and all this other garbage everybody tells you to do. There's a time and a place to burn the outside of the, the pipe off, but we've got clean black pipe. There's no sense in preheating it, and I don't care how thick it is. So pay attention, I'm about to teach you something that took me 20 years to learn. Check it out. here and lock it down just for now but I want to show you something when you get started cutting on a piece of pipe a lot of times there's slag in here okay now when you fire up on that cold slag at the bottom it's gonna make a uh, it's gonna make what up here when you fire up when that torch comes around and hits that cold slag it's gonna blow out and mess your bevel all up we don't want that we want a bevel looks sharp and perfect it just makes it easier to weld so we got to get that slag out of there check it out all I like, get back a little bit, Jose. Just smack it a couple times. Boom, done, don't waste any more time. See, you're only worth what the market will pay you for. So you gotta be valued. You gotta bring all kind of value when you're doing this. But look, I wanna get right here, Jose, I wanna show them something. See that white mark? We're not gonna, we're not gonna cut right on it. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna lay it back. This this tip's laid back, and then we're gonna. This pipe will be 23 and a quarter inches when I'm done. I'll show you that too. So now that we got it laid back, fire it up, fire it up. Hey, look at the fingers. Look at the fingers. There you go. Okay, dropping it up. Oh baby! All right, another tip. This bevel machine's worn out, it's been used forever. You see the slop in it? So we're gonna hold this up. We're gonna roll it this way first, and then this way. And we're not gonna mess around, we're gonna roll it. Let's go. It's time to get stuff done. It's hot out here. Right. While it's heating up, tighten this baby down. Nose up here where it ain't hanging on everything. Push this back. Go this way first, then back. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you why we go this way just for a little bit, and then we go back. A lot of people don't know this. So, while this is heating up, you got your torch up here where you're not flopping around on this torch hose. When we go, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it the opposite way now. I'm just gonna do like most people do it. They just start cutting. They just start cutting. Now, I'm gonna stop. You see what happened? Let me, let me show it. What happens is, it throws up a big pile of slag. See that big pile of slag that I'm going to have to come back around and hit, and then it's going to make my bevel look all bad. We don't want that. So, that's why that's why we start one way, get a good clean bevel, and while that slag's hot, you run back through it. I'm going to show you. Check it out. Through that old slag, it won't stop. Don't be scared to run this thing. You ain't gotta do nothing. No preheat or nothing. Just go. Go. That's a slick bevel. Great whale. Well. 